some of y'all may have seen this pallet sitting up here. We got it on the uh, same day that all this stuff came in from Nadura, and it's a uh, aeration system for the pond. Been needing this for a while. Been talking with uh, Daniel over there. He's hooked us up, and we are going to show everything about the system, how to install it, how it works, while we're doing it, all that stuff. So let's get to it. All right, so this is half inch quick sink tubing. Yeah, that's why I figured we gotta make the end. So what you need this for is it's a weighted tubing so we don't have to go around and put weights everywhere. We'll have one end hooked to the air raid and the other to the air compressor. It'll just sink to the bottom of the pond, right? Yep. All right, so we got plenty of that. They sent us uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Man, we got 800 feet, that's plenty. What we're gonna do, the system's going on the, on the island. James already put power out there. And then we're gonna come off of the island like an octopus. We're gonna go in six directions, put the aeration to the bottom, and then hook it to the compressor. Oh, oh look at that. That's a nice case for it. Or what's the right word? Enclosure. Let's pull it out and see what we got. All right, this is for the fan to keep it cool. Yep. So I get this plugs here. Easy enough. All right, and then this is for the motor. Yep. So we're gonna, this is set up where we'll run wiring from that to the system, but we've got a, uh, a plug right here. Oh man, they made it easy for us. Yeah. Look at that. And then we got our hose clamps to clamp the hoses too. Let's look at, let's look at this again. So you got the compressor and you got gauge gonna tell us what the pressure's at and you can control it's got six outputs so let's say you only wanted to do five but you thought maybe you're gonna add one later you can just cut it off boom and there you go all right a little filter so then it's got the uh little tails already coming out for you hook each one of our six weighted lines to this clamp that on and uh Run them where we want them. Man, this is super easy. I like this. Yeah. This must be the diffuser. I mean, the aerator. Actually, right, so they call it a diffuser. All right, I feel better now. Not quite as dumb as I was thinking, which is rare. Oh, okay. So you'll have a little bit of assembly with this. That's fine. I'll give you something to do. Uh, so I guess these right here. This is what diffuses. Yeah, and it lets the air bubbles out. This goes here, our air hose goes in here, and then we got two of these. Oh, and those just screw right into the top. Okay. Oh yeah, then you can still get your to your connection. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then you got your bib here. Yeah, the Depending hook. on which size line you're running. Yeah, the hook too. Which I think we're running the bigger line. All right, so yeah, so we'll use the larger one. That'll go in here. Then it has a little uh, clamp that'll, that'll hold bolt right here. Yeah, bolt there, and that way it'll hold the uh, hose that so doesn't come loose. So you could fasten it to the bottom if you wanted to. We're just gonna let them sit on the bottom. Yeah, I don't think they'll go nowhere. No, if they do, then you'll go swimming. <laughs> Not till <laughs> summertime. It's too cold right now. <laughs> All right, so cool. Right. So that's that one. Right that's real easy. I mean, that's all there is to it. So James is going to load all this up on the boat, get everything out to the island, and uh, I'm going to get back to work stock, stacking block. So we got everything out here. Yep. Well, James got everything out here. I'll give him credit. Thinking the box right in here? Yeah. All right. So the downside is, so are you going to go into the water and then run them all out so they're all going out one spot? Well... I was going to try because to, I might build something, you know, we're going to end up building something here. Yes, yeah, so I might have to run them out the S around, around. I think that's what you do. Look, you take all of them, three off that way, because you're going to have to move the rocks. Yeah. And three off this way, and then split to where you're going. Because if you run all over the place out here, it'll be yeah, a mess. We build whatever we're going to build out here. So like when we build the tower for the, uh, yeah. the telescope. Right. See, James got big mouth. He just told you all the secret. But that's all right. I knew you were going to. Well, you you ever, hey, you remember the Goonies? Mm -hmm. Remember when they give, uh, what's his name, Chunk? Yeah. Remember when they give Chunk something when they want it broke because they yeah. know he's going to drop yep. it? You guys, you're not going to believe me. This time I'm telling the truth. 
All you got to do is tell James something, <laughs> he going to tell it. Well, you yep. done told you he was going to do it in one of your videos. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Nobody's paying attention. All right. It's too late. You done talked about it now. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, regardless, end result is that the pads that bubble the air, tell everybody where they're going because you figured it out. All right. Well, we're going to put one over there. Towards that corner. Okay. Over close to the dock. Towards the dock. Yep. That's two. Right. Towards the camper. Towards the camper. Three. Towards the cove. And then we're going to put one there. That's five. The house. One yeah. towards yeah. The, the house. house. Yeah. yeah, one towards the house. Yeah. This, uh, we got power out here, so we got a couple different outlets. Uh, James is going to screw those to the post because I don't think you had a screw gun when you were out here the other day. No. So screw those to the post, plug that in, and then it just runs. And we are going to run it 24-7, 365. You plug it in, it runs. Really appreciate. We're going to put a link in the description. I'll pop it up. Living Aeration. Uh, I reached out to them, talked to them. I talked to a few different companies. They were the ones that got back to me quickly and kept in touch with me, and they've been great. Obviously, we'll talk about this all the time, how it's doing and everything else. So if you need some pond stuff and not just aeration system, they got fountains, they got stuff you put in the pond, all kind of stuff. So uh, reach out to them. Thanks. There's Jane Brown making the hose longer. He done put the first one together, which I can take you step by step on that real quick. You take this little plastic piece right here and screw it in here. Slide your clamps on it and put your two pieces right here. And done deal. He's got to make the hose longer so he can take it way over yonder. There he is putting one together. And drop an aerator. First first one in the water. Say hi ho <laughs> Paddle the boat. Alright, better hit the other side, you're gonna do a donut. It's a go speed racer go. Throw it off to your right. That's it. Look like Fred Flintstone over there smiling. You need to go that way. I know, but go that way though. Keep driving that way. touch-ups hooking the hoses all together give them a little snug so they give a bunch of hose clamps mm-hmm you want to never lose one but well, I'm making sure you had plenty of extras in case you drop some in the water pressure wide open which one is it Thank <laughs> you. 
Is there a statin over there? There's that one over there. The one way over there is working. That one's working. That one's working. Where's the other ones? Right there. Okay, there's that one. Come on. Now we're just waiting on this one. In the, there it goes. It went. All good. Got bubbles in the hood. Them ones is bubbling up like crazy. Look at that side. All right, so James is going to close the lid. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And that's no kind of, they have a sound deadening cabinet. I didn't, you know, feel the need for that since it was out on the island. But if you want to, you could make it even quieter. All right. Well, I mean, that was easy. That was maybe three hours. I don't even think it's been that long of actual work. See, we got the aeration system working from living water aeration. So the closer they are to the surface, you know, so when shallower the water, of course, the more bubbles you see and the deeper, the less water. So let me show you this. This is as loud as this thing gets. I mean, I'm right here at it. You don't even hear it at the shore. So this worked out perfectly. Oh, air compressor has a fan to keep keep it cool in the summer. So you have all these valves, and each one goes to so where you hook sticks up to it. So if we wanted to, we could close some. We could increase pressure. It's looking more like a cauldron now, right? So it's that one and that one, right? So, and if you get too much pressure, you've got the little safety blow off, right? So the first one's that one, okay? So it's that one, that one, and now another one should be popping up doing something. Ah, the one out there. So the one out there is in the deepest water, so we want it to get a little more air pressure, right? So what we do is you close all the other ones just a little bit, right? And we can send more pressure out to that one. So we can sit here and tweak it exactly what we want. Let's see. Uh, see we get a lot more now. And that's about bubbling again, see? I'll just cut that one back on. Yeah, so you can just sit there and tweak it till you get it exactly how you want it. So I've got the deepest one wide open. And it's pretty deep. It's like nine feet. So, yeah. Good job. So that's, uh... Hopefully you're seeing this as part of a full video I did on it. So that's working great got some more stuff from them that we're going to showcase uh, i better get over there now and help uh help chris out though or oh look he's going to get on the four-wheeler <laughs>